Hey guys, Kyle the Death Note of Anime here bringing you my episode, episode of my review of Dragon Ball Super episode 85. And it's interesting because th this this episode was was definitely a, a far cry from what, what they were teasing because in the in the in the teaser I believe that, that they were teasing the shit out whole whole of the Boo's new form, but that only took up a chunk of the episode when in reality the chunk of it was was dealing with, with just the, the, the thoughts <coughs> the thoughts and the and, and and the predict the thoughts of of everyone of all the universe pretty much which I I'm not gonna lie I, I kind of liked I'm glad, glad they took a lot more focus on that rather than you know just the Goku versus Boo fight but let's get into it um okay so to start off with it seems that, that there was an interesting contrast in between the, the way that the Kai's and the gods had had seen the whole universe of power, the whole tournament of power situation. In the terms of the Kai's, it seems that the, 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 all the Kai's, they, they seem to have a bit more of a, there, there seem to be a bit more of a, 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 a ner 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 nervous air in, in the room with, <clears throat> a nervous air in the room with them, because they, they were like, look, we, we don't have time for this, we, we have to go gather our fighters, which, which proves that that, that they definitely, even though which proves that they definitely are scared. Whereas with the gods, it seems in typical godly fashion. It seems that all the gods are a little more, a little more, aren't really too, aren't aren't too bothered by the tournament of power. In fact, they're, they're seem, they seem to be a little more enthusiastic, or just, or just downright, or just downright uh, enthusiastic, or just or just downright ecstatic about the tournament of power. But yeah, it's it's an interesting c contrast in that way, um, and also. I feel that the one thing that was pushed about the, about this whole episode was that the Universe Eleven is going to be probably like the, like the main antagonists in this art in this arc, but that was probably already kind of a given considering that 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 the, one of the Pride Troopers was, was was basically that all the Pride Troopers were the main spotlight, that Jiren one of the Pride Troopers was the main spotlight of that op of the opening, but yeah. Um. Also, I want to talk. A, okay, uh, I guess I sh I should talk a little bit about about the Goku, about the Goku and Boo fight because, um, you know, actually it was kind of, it was interesting in the sense where I, I feel it, I feel that the purpose that whole fight served was was to basically give Goku a reminder that if if a hey, Goku if, if 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 for instance if, if if you if you fall out of the ring, if you fall out of the ring or out of bounds. You, Universe Seven loses, okay, or 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 or, or you lose. So, yeah, it's it's interesting because I think I think Goku has been portrayed as being a little more forgetful now. So in a way, it's it's kind of it's kinda, is interesting to to, just, to see that we that we are getting that that we are getting those little moments where that actually are first to remind Goku about what about what's going on. But um, yeah, also. Uh, <clears throat> I want to talk about the Pride Troopers now. Like, okay, at, at we, we we get introduced to a new tr a new Pride Trooper in this one. Di I think his name is, is Dispo, and he basically looks looks like Beerus and Champa. Now, at this point, I'm kind of convinced that they aren't going to be getting any sort of a that I'm not convinced that the the Dispo is is necessarily r r related to related to Beerus and Champa in the sense of that the, they're brothers. But I think that that Dispo's that the fact that D D Dispo d d does look does look does look a lot like Beerus and Champa opens up the possibility of of like af after this arc of a uh, of of a sort of of a possibility of seeing of seeing a, 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 a planet in, in a different universe of of the people that that the look exactly like Beerus and of of exploring exploring the planet of where Beerus and Champa came from or or where where they are because. If you, if if we if I, I don't think I don't think Tor Tor Toriyama or any of the or any of the guys at Toei would, would really would really make would would make Dispo look like Pearson Shoppa for, for no other reason than to introduce the fact that yes they they, they are they're actually a race of people out there like Pearson like Pearson Shoppa and we also got to remember that the, the whole God of Destruction thing it, it isn't it, it's just pretty much a job so and it it, it is still plausible that that. that that when Beerus and Shabba took the job of gods and destruction, that they just kind of they, they 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 did some kind of tr tr uh, universal 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 my 
uh, some kind of a migration over over to over to the universe seven and six when, when they took the job of destruction, when they took the job of God of destruction. So, yeah, I, th I think basically I th I'm pretty sh I'm pretty sure that the whole the whole dispo that getting us to introduce the dispo is a way of of, of maybe one one day kind of get, getting us getting teasing us that that maybe one day we're going to explore a planet with. That with the whole with 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 people that look like beers and shop pretty much, but uh, yeah. Um, now I want to talk about the Pride Troopers themselves. Um, it's interesting because at the time we we were always kind of considering that Go that Goku was a villain for the most part. Like 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 it was like Topo was constantly saying it's interesting that Go Goku was always being portrayed as a villain and Topo was a hero. But in a way, from, from what we've seen of this. Scene of this episode, scene of this episode, uh, the Pride Troopers aren't exactly. Well, okay, there are many different forms of heroism out there. I've kind of realized this from watch, from watching and reading Boku no Hero Academia, but I feel that in their case, they're not. They're not so much. They're not as. They're not as heroic as we as they as they portray themselves as because, in in a way, that they're they're basically just. They're basically just kill. They're they're basically they're, they're like they're like Ak Akainu from One Piece, in which they're 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 basically, they're basically killing for for for, for their own their own sake of of justice and peace. But what they they have no they have no kind of they don't seem to really they have no really just don't seem to have too much of too much value for like actually actually for 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 life in general. Because like if 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 they really thought of themselves as just as heroes of justice, then then they wouldn't have just just killed just they wouldn't have just killed that that, that villain. They they would have they would have just just cuffed him, locked and locked him up in a prison. But you you just outright k killed the guy. So it just kind of makes you question the Pride Troopers' m morality in a way. Like what exactly is their is their true is their true nature in a way? But um, yeah, it's it's an interesting thought that. That the pride troopers aren't maybe as good as we as we originally, as as people have pegged them out to be, but, but but I will admit that whole that whole posing that they were doing it was it was it was I think it was paying homage to the Ginyu Force or something because that shit was hilarious. Um, but yeah, also, uh, also uh, when also I want to talk about Shampa and when he was contacting. Okay, so so so, but let's move on to like Shampa for instance. Okay, so it it it, it Champa just finished his meeting with with all the gods with all the go other gods of destruction and and to that end it's like he contacted he contacted I think it was Kaba yeah Kaba and he's like hey Kaba we we, we hey Kaba we we're getting for the tournament power we need more sands more sands okay so there's sort of like okay so we're getting. Okay, so we we know that there's gonna be a Saiyan on the Universe Eleven team. That much we know, but God damn, the, the, so when, this this all just opens up the possibility that there's gonna be more Saiyans than Goku. That's the that Universe Six. This opens up the possibility that the Universe Six tournament is gonna to be wait wait Universe Six Six team is gonna be a lot more powerful than 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 they, than, 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 than they probably were at than they were in the in the Shamba arc, but. But I got I kind of wonder how exactly how many like the the fact that there's going to be more Saiyans just like it boggles the it boggles the mind and it makes you wonder exactly how powerful the, the, these Saiyans are going to be because we definitely know that when when we met Kaba though he wasn't exactly the strongest Saiyan so how much and, and, until he of course turned Super Saiyan and I assume he's continued his training after that tournament so you got to wonder how strong these Saiyans are I I don't think they're going to be on the same level as the Saiyan on Universe Eleven but. It, it should be interesting. To, they'd probably still still be on Goku's level, I'd imagine. But um, yeah. Also, let's well, let's. I want to talk about those ending scenes. About that ending scene with 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 Piccolo and Gohan. Okay, so Gohan, I think he's finally fucking realized that hey, I need to get stronger. I need to fucking get stronger for this tournament. I mean, I th I think it was always. I think it was always kind of there ever since his his fight with his his fight in the pro, in in the exhibition match, ended like he knew that he needed to get stronger. But now he's he's finally t taking full on action and he's gonna train with Piccolo from now on, and he's gonna train with Piccolo for for, for the, the the rest of the time that he has. So, 
I imagine from this point on he is going to get he is going to get um he is he's probably going to he's probably going to achieve a I, th I think he's going to achieve some, some a, a, a base a base understanding of how to tap into his mystic form now but I don't imagine he's going to I th I think I think how he's going to work is is that the, he's going to train enough in order to get a base understanding of how to tap into his mystic form but I think I think as the tournament goes on he's probably going that the mystic form is probably going to get stronger and stronger I think like the, the more the more he fights in the tournament I think the more more power of the more power of his mystic form he's going to be able to tap into I think but um, yeah, guys. But th that's that's kind of my, my my whole my whole thought on it. And uh, yeah, everyone. Yeah, but, yeah. This this was a great chapter. It was just kind of diving into everyone's thoughts. And like I said, it was interesting that the the like I said, it was interesting that the that the gods the gods seemed a little more confident that than 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 the the, 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 the Kai seemed nervous about the tournament, but the gods seemed really really into the idea all of a sudden. But uh, hey, it's hey, it's a uh, it, hey, what do you expect? It's uh, I guess I guess they're I guess being a god kind of makes you cocky, but yeah, guys, that, that's my review of Dragon Ball Super episode eighty five. Again, a good episode, and I can't can't wait for more. Actually, one one more thing to note: um, that there's been recent uh, right right now. There's been recent. Uh, there's been there's right now there's. Right now, in in terms of the whole episode count, like it seems there's going to be m m m a lot more episodes of, of building up to the tournament of power. So I think this kind of, in a way, debunks anything that I think this kind of debunks in a way the the whole the whole the whole theory that people have, the whole theory that people have had in the past that Dragon Ball Super is going to be on hundred episodes because I, I don't see this. I don't see this this arc ending anymore at episode 100 because I've seen the episode list and it seems that this whole gathering of the team is gonna go on for quite a while. But um, yeah, guys. But yeah, guys. That um, that concludes my my review of. But yeah, I, I don't know if I've said it before, but that concludes my review of uh, of Dragon Ball Super Episode 85. Uh, again, a good episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed the review, like, comment, subscribe, or follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Death Knight of Anime, signing out. Later, guys.